When it comes to performance, it pays to recognize that Data Pump is a very heavy user of your data dictionary. We're querying those dictionary views and tables and fixed tables to get information about the objects in the database and where the data is stored in the best way to export or import it. So it really helps Data Pump performance to have current accurate statistics on your sys and system schemas. If you can gather those schema stats in advance, you will find that Data Pump runs much better than if you have stale stats on this or that dictionary table. And if you don't want to gather schema stats on sys and system, you can do kind of a lighter weight version of that by gathering dictionary stats. That will also help. The other topic related to statistics in Data Pump is that we generally recommend that you exclude statistics from your Data Pump exports. And that way you don't have to take the time to export stats and then import them in the target system. The reasons that we recommend that are twofold. One is that exporting stats can be a pretty time consuming operation. By the time the statistics are extracted from the database, packaged up, and then imported into the target system, you could have easily gathered those statistics on the newer, faster hardware to which you're migrating anyway. But the second reason is also important, and that's that as part of your export and import, you're very likely going to be changing the way that data is laid out in your data files, whether it's changing the amount of free space that's available in your, in your data files to implementing new types of compression or encryption, or indeed even changing the partitioning layout of your database, the statistics could be very different in your import side target database. So gathering the stats afterwards is generally a good idea. Of course, if you don't have time to gather the stats afterwards and you want to bring the stats with you as part of the export and import operation, that's fine, but you're still going to want to regather those stats later. I should mention, by the way, that after you import into that target database, you should go back to those dictionary stats and regather those on the import side. The reason for that is that the process of importing will have in inserted lots of rows into those dictionary tables like obj dollar tab dollar user dollar source dollar and updating the statistics there will just be beneficial for your entire database another thing that we recommend for every export and import operation is to include diagnostics in your log file now we'll talk more about different types of diagnostics that you can apply to data pump jobs later. But for the log file in, in particular, these two parameters, metrics, which was added in 11.2, and log time, which we added in 12.1, can give you a very robust set of information to help you understand the performance of your data pump export or import. And let me show you what I mean by that. If you don't specify those parameters, the default would give you a log file like you see at the top, where you get an a sense of what is being, uh, in this case, imported. And you see for each table, for example, that we've imported the table and how many rows it had. But look at the wealth of information you get by specifying log time equal all, which gives you that uh, timestamp on the left side there down to the microsecond, and metrics equals y that tells you for each individual uh, table or object, not only how long did it take, but what method was used to move it. And we'll talk about those access methods later and see why that's important as well. Now, we didn't make this the default yet for Data Pump because it does introduce inherent variability into your log files. And we didn't want to break customers' existing tooling and scripting and have to have them filter out timestamps, for example, to see whether a job had the same results as the previous run. But at some point, we may want to make these the default. So keep an eye on these and use these parameters whenever you're performing an export and import. 